Hey, Dex, uh, folks really worked it hard down here, and uh, there was a lot of cause for optimism with breaking up all around the SLF, but uh, in the end of the day, it's just too low of a ceiling of visibility. It got down to 200 broken at two miles visibility, and uh, Fergie just tried to dive on his most recent one and couldn't even uh, see the field and had to wave off high. So we're a no-go for the deorbit burn. We're going to send you to the top of page uh, 3-11, and you can have MASH do that step there where it says take the high main pump presses through and back to norm. And then you don't need to go back to 301 because you're already there, and then you can pick up if 24-hour extension. There's going to be one delta on the uh, RCS. standby, And the one delta is on the right RCS. Uh, we want both of them to uh, GPC talk back open on the right RCS heliums. Okay, uh, we understand about the right RCS helium, CJ. We'll leave them in the GPC top back open. And uh, we know how hard you guys worked it today, and we appreciate everything. And uh, we've been there on our phenomenal weather days, and know how much work it is. We appreciate everything you've done, and uh, we'll be hopeful for better weather tomorrow. Sounds great, Discovery. And uh, once you get to the bottom of 3 11, we'll follow you over to the deorbit prep uh, back out and work through those procedures with you. Sounds great, CJ. Match is working up now. Capcom Rick Sterko there letting Discovery's crew know that uh, weather, again, is going to interfere with the second opportunity today. That would have been at 9.23 a.m. Central Time. Um, cl low clouds again in the area, making it uh, a no-go for a shuttle landing at Kennedy Space Center today. So the crew will plan to try again tomorrow. They've got landing opportunities at Kennedy Space Center starting at 6.33 a.m. Central Time and opportunities at Edwards Air Force Base in California uh, at 8 a.m. Central Time.